Well, I'm gonna cut this out and develop this arc a little bit more. I'm Tim Burns and I'm a freeform sculptor. My most favorite part is probably uh, what I'm doing now, which is getting in there with the tools, with an idea and sculpting, and then you know, reacting to the spontaneity of the process, the working around some of the natural cracks in the wood. The unknowns are probably the most exciting part in the carving process for me. The wood itself is full of surprises, and the wood, yes, it definitely does shape the final outcome, but the sculpture is more a marriage of my intended sculptural form and the wood's inherent organic form. It's a unique uh, transformation of materials. It looks natural, almost like it grew that way. This is the finished product here, so you can see the how dramatic the transition from the raw material to the sculpted form is. There are a lot of reasons why his work appeals to, to us in the, in the terms of the museum collection. And this would be the first work that we'd purchase of Tim's. He has another discipline, he's a biologist that uh, he works, you know, that's his day job really. But there's a really unique connection between his day job and his art. It's a little bit loose when I want to relate this to actual uh, biologic process. I think more that I'm attracted to is just the naturalness of it. And the shapes that I carve into it, I try to keep natural. The, for example, these shapes that are repeated, these bulbs with these long tails, in here is something that I repeated a lot in my work after taking a trip to the Puget Sound and seeing these waves rolling up on the beach and bladder kelp going up and down. And I, you know, that image of this, this vegetation and this wave motion was something that struck me as being very beautiful. This is Acer Respersum. And uh, it also translates into, loosely into a maple wave. 50% of the people come by and go, oh, that's creepy. I, I kind of like that about them. They look like there's some strange organism or animal growing there. You know, the other 50% will come by and they won't see that at all. They'll, they'll just identify with the warmth of the wood and the natural shapes. I appreciate a reaction either way, whether it's they are creeped out by it or whether they think it's, uh, you know, a, a really beautiful, warm piece of art.